Hi, this is Victor Chang, and I'd like to talk to you about generating publicity. And one of the things you need to understand about generating publicity is you got to understand the mindset and the mentality of reporters. Reporters only want to write about or televise or broadcast, whatever the media might be. They want to write about things that their readers want to read about. It's very simple. Right? They're not that interested in deliberately promoting your company, your products, or your services, unless in some way that helps them achieve their objective of getting a satisfying their readers. You know, read, uh, reporters are all about readership, all about ratings. And the more you can help them with that, the better. The second thing they're, they're really concerned about, particularly print reporters, is giving up, making sure that they present the appearance of being very balanced and very uh, unbiased. Right? It's not you know, you know, Joe Smith, the reporter's personal opinion article. Right? It's reporting the news in an unbiased fashion. And the big difference between that, by the way, is making sure that an article references third-party experts. Right? So everything from you know, peace in the Middle East to, to you know, what's the, what does this new change in our industry mean or, or what do we do about you know, uh, the changes in the economy, uh, all of those need to be validated by a third-party expert. And by and large, if you pick up any major newspaper anywhere in the United States, uh, any major city, you'll notice that all the sort of interesting articles that, that have sort of news that needs to be interpreted, uh, by and large, a lot of them have third-party quotes in them. You know, according to so-and-so who is a professor at Harvard or whatnot, or the author of this and that book, um, uh, and they provide sort of their commentary on the day's news. And this is a very important role that, that reporters must have. They must have third-party sources to sort of validate what's being said in their articles. Otherwise, it's really just an opinion piece that should belong in the opinion section of the newspaper, not in the news section. The same is true for industry publications, right? It's not just one person's opinion, the reporter's opinion, what's going on in the news. It's sort of meant to represent an industry trend, uh, and it needs to be validated by third-party experts. And this is where you come in. When you can become that expert, um, you get to mention your company. Uh, in some cases, you get to mention your products and services when they're very directly tied to, into that news. Uh, and particularly if it's a sort of a big trend that's going on. And one of the easiest ways to do that is to publish a book. And so something that my company helps clients do is publish a particular kind of book called a bookmercial book. And a bookmercial book really is a genuinely useful book that happens to have sort of uh, a commercial message about your products and companies sort of interwoven throughout, much like a television infomercial, if you're familiar with that. And it's one of the easiest ways to get publicity because once you have sort of a book that's been published, you become the authoritative expert, you become a safe person to quote, so when a reporter says, look, I, I quoted Joe Smith, you know, uh, he's the author of this and this book. He must be an expert. And you know, it's a form of job security, right? So when the editor challenges the reporter, why did you mention this in the article? Well, Joe Smith said it. So they can sort of point to some third party. Um, they always have to point to some third party. That sort of keeps, them, keeps them employed. Uh, so it's a very important thing to understand. They, they're interested in readership and, and ratings, and they're very interested in sort of uh, having an unbiased perspective and having anything mentioned in their articles supported by, by a third party. Uh, I guess the third thing I would mention is when you deal with the media, uh, you want to be provocative. You want to you want to sort of think in sound bites, think in quotes. Uh, don't think in long monologues or long speeches, but think in zippy one-liners uh, of short little things that are controversial or make a powerful point, uh, and, and that builds readership. Right? Provocative things, controversial quotes uh, generate readership and readership. Whether they love you or hate you, they're reading or listening. Right? Uh, there's always sort of this, this funny phrase I always think about. Uh, uh, when it comes to dealing with the media, uh, you, you want to be loved or hated because there's no money in the middle, right? And, and so you don't want to be boring. You want to be sort of, you know, very, very, very agreeable, very disagreeable, sort of be sort of on the two extremes uh, and be nowhere in the middle and, and sort of support your point of view with a book, preferably, uh, as a way of sort of demonstrating that your, your opinions have sort of validation or value and are, are credible. So that's one of my thoughts for today on, on how to generate publicity. Definitely recommend publishing a book, and in particular a bookmercial book. If you're interested in learning more about bookmercial books, simply visit our website at www.bookmercial.com, and you can see our online videos library at www.bookmercial.com/videos. Hope you've enjoyed this video, and thanks, and have a great day.